yeah so this is the part 2 of uh, function generator part 2 video of function generator in the earlier video you have seen what is a voltage comparator we have i have shown you the circuit i have shown you these equations and we have seen these waveforms also now if you remember i told you that the voltage comparator is also called as a smith trigger with slight variations i mean voltage comparator and smith trigger are almost the same with slight variations so let me tell you what is that smith trigger exactly because it is actually in function generator we are going to use a smith trigger and not a voltage comparator but to know what smith trigger is you had to know what a, a voltage comparator is and hence i initially told you what is a voltage comparator okay so in a smith trigger it's possible to have two reference voltages let's say comparator may we had only one reference voltage which was called as v reference smith trigger may you can have two reference voltages they are called as plus v reference and minus v reference so the name itself tells you that ye wala reference voltage would be on the positive side of the x axis and minus v reference ka voltage would be on the negative side of the x axis so let me have a look at this diagram i mean this waveform okay sorry what we do is uh, i skip these two waveforms and i just show you these waveforms okay uh, the upper waveform of course is the input to the smith trigger and the lower waveform is the output of the smith trigger now yahan pe i have taken the triangular waveform as an input waveform comparator mein i had taken sine waveform as an input waveform yahan pe i have taken triangular waveform i hope you people understand that input waveform can be anything so i have taken triangular waveform as the input as i have shown here and because mid trigger can have two reference voltages if you can see i have shown one horizontal dotted line that is some dc voltage which is what you call as plus v reference it's also called as vu t where ut stands for upper threshold so this voltage is called as upper threshold voltage because it is on the positive side it is above the x axis okay the way you have plus v reference in a smith trigger it's possible to have minus v reference also obviously minus reference minus v reference will have the same voltage as that of plus v reference only thing is it would be on the negative side that is below the x axis so if this is zero wala axis this is the minus v reference ka voltage which is well below the x axis so this is me minus v reference it is also called as vlt where lt stands for lower threshold so this is called as the lower threshold voltage this is called as the upper threshold voltage for obvious reasons this is above the x axis this is below the x axis okay now you people already know that the if we if i have to draw the output voltage ka waveform i need to show the intersection points so if you can see i have shown the intersection points of the triangular waveform along with the reference but please take care you do not have only one reference voltage here you have two reference voltages so if you can see that the upper reference voltage ka intersection along with the sine waveform is intersection number 1 and 2 points 3 and 4 are with the lower intersection are with the lower reference 5 and 6 are again with the upper reference and so on okay but if you have seen i have scratched out the intersection point number 2 i have scratched out intersection point number 4 and i have scratched out intersection point number 6 why you will eventually understand why the, what the reason is now let's start to draw the waveform for output voltage presuming it is not present of course now to draw the waveform for output voltage i initially start with the zero zero to intersection point number 1 yahan se lekar yahan tak wala input waveform needs to be compared with reference now you will ask a question there are two references with whom am i supposed to compare plus v reference or minus v reference it's but obvious because ye wala waveform is above the x axis you are expected to compare this with the plus v reference ka voltage so now between 0 to 1 ye wala waveform i ask a question is this waveform is this voltage more than or less than reference voltage the answer is it is less than because it is less than the output voltage has to go high so if you can see from 0 to 1 i have got output as high voltage now at 1 there has to be a change as you people know so from 1 you may be expecting that i compare the wave from from 1 to 2 with reference voltage no i do not do that 
द थिंग इज इन स्मिथ ट्रिगर बिकॉज यू हैव गॉट टू रेफरेंस वोल्टेज अगर पहली बार यू आर कंपेयरिंग विथ पॉजिटिव रेफरेंस द नेक्स्ट टाइम यू आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू कंपेयर विथ माइनस वी रेफरेंस सो दिस पॉइंट इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट नंबर टू इज स्क्रैचड आउट एंड आई कंसिडर द वे फ्रॉम वे फॉर्म फ्रॉम इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट नंबर वन टू इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट नंबर थ्री सो यहाँ से लेकर यहाँ वाली वेव फॉर्म विल नाउ बी कंपेयर विथ माइनस रेफरेंस का वोल्टेज आई होप यू गेट इट सो आई एम गोइंग टू कंपेयर इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट नंबर वन से लेकर इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट नंबर थ्री वाला वेव फॉर्म दैट इज फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर नाउ विल बी कंपेयर विथ माइनस वी रेफरेंस वाई नॉट विथ प्लस वी रेफरेंस बिकॉज पहले प्लस वी रेफरेंस के साथ कंपेयर करके हो चुका नाउ यू गोइंग टू कंपेयर इट विथ माइनस वी रेफरेंस so now when you compare it with minus v reference uh, you will ask the same question is this input voltage greater than or less than minus v reference the answer is of course it is greater than the minus v reference because it is greater than minus why greater than because ye negative side pe hai i hope you people understand that okay so this waveform is greater than minus v reference because v input is greater than minus v reference your output voltage has to go low तो जो पहले हाई था नाउ इट बिकम्स लो एंड इट रिमेन्स लो टिल द इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट नंबर थ्री सो नाउ आई हैव ड्रॉन द वे फॉर्म टिल इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट नंबर थ्री वॉट आफ्टर दिस आफ्टर दिस आई विल कंपेयर द वे फॉर्म नॉट फ्रॉम थ्री टू फोर फोर इज रूल्ड आउट आई विल कंपेयर द वे फॉर्म फ्रॉम थ्री टू द नेक्स्ट इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट दैट इज फाइव मतलब ये वाले को सो आई ऑलवेज कंपेयर द वे फॉर्म बिटवीन ऑल्टरनेट इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट्स तो फोर को इग्नोर किया एंड थ्री से लेकर फोर वाली जो वे फॉर्म है आई कंपेयर दैट वे फॉर्म नाउ विथ प्लस वी रेफरेंस वाई प्लस वी रेफरेंस बिकॉज पहले वाला माइनस वी रेफरेंस के साथ कंपेयर किया था सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन हैज टू बी प्लस वी रेफरेंस का चांस सो आई नीड टू कंपेयर इट विथ प्लस वी रेफरेंस आई एज अ सेम क्वेश्चन इज वी इनपुट ग्रेटर दैन और लेस दैन प्लस वी रेफरेंस इट इज ऑब्वियसली लेसर दैन प्लस वी रेफरेंस हेंस द आउटपुट हैज टू गो हाई तो जो थ्री वाला थ्री इंटरसेक्शन पे जो लो पे था नाउ इट वेन टू हाई एंड इट रिमेन हाई टिल द इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट नंबर फाइव एंड इन दिस मैनर यू आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू ड्रॉ द रेस्ट ऑफ द वे फॉर्म ऑल्सो सो दैट्स अबाउट ड्रॉइंग द वे फॉर्म बिटवीन आई मीन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर इनपुट वे फॉर्म सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द इनपुट ऑफ द स्मिथ ट्रिगर दिस इज द आउटपुट ऑफ द स्मिथ ट्रिगर एंड Uh, which means that a triangular wave form given to a smith trigger is converted into a rectangular wave form at the output of a smith trigger okay so that's about smith trigger ke input and output wave forms let me have a look at the wave forms which are shown above it have a look at these wave forms uh when you look at these wave forms you will understand they are not very much different from these wave forms uh the only difference here is कि इफ यू कैन सी इस ट्रायंगुलर वेव फॉर्म का जो पॉजिटिव पीक है वहीं पे यू हैव प्लस वी रेफरेंस का डीसी वोल्टेज एंड ट्रायंगुलर वेव फॉर्म का वेव फॉर्म का जो नेगेटिव पीक है वहीं पे यू हैव द माइनस रेफरेंस वोल्टेज सो द प्लस वी रेफरेंस एंड द माइनस वी रेफरेंस के हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइंस आर एक्चुअली टचिंग द पॉजिटिव एंड द नेगेटिव पीक रिस्पेक्टिवली ओके दैट्स द ओनली डिफरेंस else the working the explanation remains the same and as you can see triangular wave form which is given to the input of a smith trigger is getting converted into a rectangular wave form this is very similar to that of these wave forms okay now why i have shown you these wave forms because these are the wave forms which you will be actually getting in a function generator hence i have shown you these wave forms okay so i move on yes so the next prerequisite that you people need to know is about a diode resistance wave shaping circuit um let me read through this they convert a triangular wave into sine wave form that is they shape the wave hence the name wave shaping circuit these circuits majorly consist of diode and resistance so i guess this is very much self explanatory i am not going to show you the internal circuitry of this particular circuit but i have to tell you just in brief that this is a wave shaping circuit which means if i give the input to this wave shaping circuit as a triangular wave form at the output i am going to get a sine wave form so it is shaping my triangular wave form into a sine wave form so it is called as a wave shaping circuit 
it and why and and uh, and yes of course and because it uses diode and resistance as a major components inside it so it is also called as a diode resistance wave shaping circuit okay now the next prerequisite the next prerequisite is a potential divider circuit okay so the next prerequisite is about a potential divider circuit if you guys remember i have already uh, introduced you to the potential divider circuit uh, quite a number of times in our classroom uh, but just as a part of revision let me tell you that we have a resistor resistor ka upar wala end is connected to plus vcc the lower end is connected to ground and somewhere over here you have a wiper wiper i may also called as a external connection okay so this tapping or this connection i call it as wiper ye wiper ka position can be moved so you can move this uh, wiper up to down as per the requirement now so if the wiper is present somewhere over here which means a external connection is present somewhere over here it's but obvious ye pura wala resistance is getting divided into two parts first part is above the wiper the second part is below the wiper so if the wiper is at position o this point is a and this point is b then from a to o let that resistance be called as r1 and from b to o let this resistance be called as r2 okay so that now if i am expected to find out the voltage at the node a then voltage at node sorry sorry i'm extremely sorry if i am expected to find out the voltage at this node that is voltage at node o then the voltage at the node o please understand this is this doesn't mean output voltage this means voltage at node o voltage at node o ke liye the equation given is r2 upon r1 plus r2 into vcc this is a universally accept, uh, accepted equation for a potential divider circuit it remains the same every time so it's r2 upon r1 plus r2 into vcc but what is r2 r2 should be the resistance that is connected to the ground should be present in the numerator denominator will consist of the addition of both these resistances and then of course it will be multiplied by vcc so a part of vcc how much part r2 upon r1 plus r2 uh of vcc times vcc that part of vcc is present at the node o so at node o we have a part of vcc so which means vcc potential is getting divided into two parts a and o ke beech mein kuch voltage hoga b and o ke beech mein remaining voltage hoga so it is as good as vcc is getting divided into two uh voltages one is between ao and the other one is between v, uh, b and o hence the uh, circuit is called as a potential divider circuit or a voltage divider circuit okay so that's about uh, the voltage divider circuit now the same circuit i have redrawn here so this is circuit number 1 this is circuit number 2 i forgot to mention a circuit number 2 here but this is circuit number 2 and this is circuit number 1 okay so that uh, uh, now you know this is again a potential divider circuit yahan pe vcc hai yahan pe ground hai you have a wiper here right so this wiper is somewhere at the top and if you look in circuit number 2 the wiper is somewhere over here which is somewhere at the bottom so obviously because the wiper is at the top r1 is going to be lesser than r2 and agar circuit to number 2 mein dekhte ho to because the wiper is at the lower position to r1 has to be greater than r2 now this value of r1 and r2 in circuit number 1 and similarly in circuit number 2 when you substitute in this particular equation which i had shown above if you substitute in this particular equation as you know is wale circuit ka r2 is more so numerator will be more hence vo will be more for circuit number 1 i have mentioned here vo for circuit number 1 will be more than vo for circuit number 2 why because yahan ka r2 is more and r2 is in the numerator so which means that the output voltage in circuit number 1 is greater sorry not the output voltage the voltage at this node o is greater than the voltage at this node o uh, uh, when you compare these two circuits 
so which means the voltage at the node o or at the wiper depends on whom it depends on the position of the wiper so please remember just one thing that the position of the wiper whether it is at the top or at the bottom will decide that what is the voltage appearing at this particular wiper okay so that's about the potential divider circuit and then uh, once we are done with let me take you back to the first slide first page rather yeah so as i said you had to study about these four prerequisites so we've started about integrator we started what a smith trigger is we started what a wave shaping circuit is and now we've just started what a potential divider circuit is now that you are aware of all what these circuits are now in the next video i would be actually starting with the block diagram of the function generator so this would be starting in the next video